Gamers are balanced, I'm back on my shit. The bitly is dirty, my sneakers is dirty, but that's how I like it. You all on my dick, I'm all in my bag. Hello everyone and welcome back to Darling TV. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm doing a prepare with me. And this weekend, basically starting tomorrow, I'm going with my friends to a secret location. Actually, it's not that much of a secret location. We're literally just going to Baltimore for a Valentine's Day like weekend type of situation. So we're going to brunch, dinner, club, like try to, you know, do all that type of stuff. But we got a hotel in Baltimore. You guys will see that in the vlog. So don't forget to watch that vlog and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already but today i'm preparing myself for this trip i have i haven't comment down below if you're the same way but like i haven't done anything for real for real to prepare myself for this trip like look at my hair so i washed a wig and stuff like that that i already had i'm supposed to be installing that wig when i get back like home and stuff like that but also i wanted to find a dress for dinner i have a dress for brunch that i wore in the bahamas but i never like got to take pictures in it so i'ma wear that again because that was that was a cute dress so i'm about to go to olive olay if you if y'all know what that is if you're from dc i think it's only in dc it might be no in dc and maryland i don't even think it's in dc it's in maryland i don't know but i think it's a store in maryland type shit and i used to call this the stripper store when i was younger because they they got really like revealing type clothing in there like mature type of clothing and i don't know why i was in there when i was in my freaking high school but i was not wearing that type of stuff you at least want to see someone on a mannequin and look cute before you walk into a store i also had to go to the beauty supply store today and then probably like a walmart to pick i want to get some like elf product probably just a primer though literally it i probably go to dollar tree too i'm gonna see y'all when i get to dollar valet I might take y'all with me in there, but I just wanted to show y'all how it looks like on the outside. This is the store I'm talking about. If y'all don't know, this store is lit. <laughs> really look crazy like i will be better probably at the end of this video but so yeah i went into there and i do see a lot not not a lot but like it's a lot of cute shit in there but like not for really what i'm going for i guess i could say i'm about to go to rainbow real quick because it's right down the street from here just to see if i can find some mesh pants i'm so freaking hungry honestly saw a lot of cute stuff in the clearance section so yeah i don't know but i ain't really recording there because it was a lot of music going on but yeah, I'm about to draw the rainbow and see what they have in there. And then I'm probably going to come back here and maybe make a decision. I don't know. It's like, to me, it's just like, oh, that's cute. It's not like, oh. She's sexy as fuck. Oh. But I've been kind of ripping and running for real. I went to Dollar Tree. I went to Ross. I went to Target. Then I came back to Olive Olay. Um, I went to Dollar Tree to get some small stuff like I tried to get some type of decorations for the hotel But um, yeah, they didn't really have nothing in there as expected because I guess it's so close to Valentine's Day now I went to Olive Olay and then they they stuff is like you can't get your money back Like you can only get store credit if you don't like it type of thing I'm the type of person I'll be wanting my money back Especially if it's nothing in that store that I want then I'm gonna be upset for real for real so i went to other places and i didn't find nothing so i came back to olive olay and i got a dress and it was on it was a lot of like cute stuff in clarence when i went to go check it out she said clarence was buy one get one free so bitch i got me two outfits for 15 dollars <laughs> i don't know how this second thing is gonna look on me but i thought it somewhat look cute and then they only had a large so i had to get a large but it was free so i was just like fuck it but i feel like i should have spent more time over there to figure out what the second thing that i wanted for real i'm gonna probably show y'all i'm gonna show y'all the items when i get back home but right now i'm about to go to the beauty supply store and then i'm gonna probably head back home so y'all yeah, see y'all then okay y'all so i'm back and it's like nighttime now for real, for real now i'm about to show you guys exactly what i got from the store i went to target too and the only reason I went into Target is because I was hungry and they said they had the little Pizza Hut Express and I love them pizzas. The Pizza Hut Express pizzas are just, but I haven't had them in a very long time so I don't know. Maybe they fell off but I went in there for a couple of makeup products but only ended up getting this. The Elf Power Grip Primer Clear. I heard this was similar to the Milk. I think it was the Milk Hydro Drip Primer. 
something like that. I don't know. I heard it was something like that. And I never had a primer that's actually like tacky, like sticky. Like I want that type of primer for my makeup that I'm going to be doing. That's probably why my makeup don't be giving away that it's supposed to give because I don't got the right primer. I went to the beauty supply store and boom. So I got the things that we actually need for this video, how I'm really about to prepare myself. So first I'm going to do my hair. After I show y'all everything, basically I'm going to go wash my hair. So y'all was in the today and I was in the store and I was just walking and looking around. I was in like the little like toothpaste aisle I think or like soap, whatever, in the grocery store aisle. This old man came up to me. He was like, um, your fro, you know, how long is it when you take it down? Da, da, da. I was like, I appreciate your questions, but I'm not even going to hold you. It's not mine. I ain't said it like that. I was just like, oh, um, yeah. Mm, it, it's not my real hair, you know. It's just, it's just up there. He was like, you could have fooled me. And I was like, I did fool you. I give, I was going to give like this is my little messy bun, but it's really not my hair. I was saying to prepare myself i'm gonna be doing my hair for y'all my wig is in this corner right here this is the wig that i'll be installing tonight but i had to wash my real hair and cornrow it that's gonna take the longest time i swear i flat ironed it first and when i cornrowed it it just kept coming out like it kept coming out and i sleep very well so like my scar comes off my bonnet comes off everything comes off at night i don't know how but everything comes off at night Today, I'm not going to be flat ironing it. I'm going to just wash it and try to, you know, blow dry it out. Then try to do small cornrows in it. Like, small enough for my hair to be flat. I'm going to do my nails by using these. I always use these Kiss Press On Nails to do my nails. If y'all got any recommendations, if y'all got a little company or something, and y'all be making press on nails, send me the link. Because I really do need some press on nails. But these work fine for me right now. I only usually get, like french tip nails still like kind of break off my nails a little bit so at least i get to take them off when i really want i brought a lot of lashes not a lot of lashes but i bought four pairs of lashes i don't know why this box is so beat up but i bought two pairs of oh no i brought a pair of kiss lashes i envy lashes and two pairs of la flare la the fair lashes i always use these lashes this lash brand but i decided i've been watching those little girlies that be making full face makeup routine videos and i've been watching them and like seeing what type of products they use and everything and one of the girls her her lashes look like lash extensions like really like lash extensions like usually my lashes you know they look cool and stuff like that they be looking like lash extensions to me sometimes and then i looked at hers and i was like no those those really look like lash extensions so what she did is she took the regular lashes with the black band. She stacked them with some type of lash that doesn't really have a band. I got these little earrings too because I'm going to wear this with my dress for dinner that I'm about to show y'all. So then I went to Olive Olay like I had showed y'all. And I had told y'all I, I had got this at first. Boom. I just got this new dress. It was 15 it was it used to be $32, but it was $15 because it was on clearance. I don't know why it was on clearance because it looked fine to me. Yeah, I ain't see nothing wrong with it. So regular scoop neck, new dress, long arms, and then it has the ruching. It has the ruching on the sides of the dress. And it's long, like long. Like it comes all the way down to my feet. So I had got this and I was sitting at the cash register and the lady was like as long as it got the little orange tag on it or or red tag on it you can get it for free. So I had already had my eyes on this but it was kind of ugly but it was kind of cute at the same time so I was like I'm not about to waste my money on it for real. But since I got it for free because it got an orange tag. <laughs> it got an orange tag as you can see. So you're not going to be able to see exactly how this like bodysuit goes. Is this a button? Oh, it's a button in the back. Wait. No, this is the front. Oh, ew. I don't like that. I thought this was the front. Like it was giving a V-neck moment. But then I realized the tag is right here. So I must have had it on backwards. I guess that's why my butt crack was out a little bit. And you're supposed to do like this, just make it so worse. Like, I will wear it backwards. You're supposed to do it like this, and then you have the little back out, and then the front maybe gives under boob and belly out. 
No. I told y'all I went to Dollar Tree. So, they didn't have no rose petals at Dollar Tree. I don't know what was going on, but, like, all of the Valentine stuff was gone. Why are y'all taking all this stuff from the single people? Like, come on, like, at least leave us some cheap stuff. There was no rose petals, so I got these two things. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to just... Oh, shit. I don't know. I'm hoping that I'll be able to, like, rip the rose petals off of these and just, you know, lay them around. I got these little lights. They only three feet long, but they little, they got little hearts on them or whatever. So, they just little Valentine's Day little lights. And I had to get some batteries for the lights. And then I got these little cups for us because it's only going to be three of us. So, it's just little paper cups, but they got hearts on them. And they look like, they really look like mugs because they got lids to them. Not mugs, but like coffee cups because they got lids to them. Because I already know that bitches is just going to forget cups. That's just a thing that people forget. The last stop of the night. Obviously, I had to get me. I had to get me some liquor. So, this will be the drink of the weekend for me. This is going to be what is in my my flask. Because you already know I keep that thing on me. I already had this. I didn't have to buy this. This is from Rainbow. Got it for like $6. If you need a flask, go get one from Rainbow. They be having cute shit. That one not that cute because that's my third one. And it just wasn't no cute options the third time. So I was like, fuck it. Let's go sparkly Rainbow. I could have just got this to be honest. But but then I got this too. So we could just go crazy. Ah, go stupid. Go crazy. Ah, 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 go stupid. Ah. <laughs> Usually get tequila drink. Like that's my, that's my thing. I drink tequila. So... I get my little tequila drink and then I have my flags and then as I'm drinking my tequila drink, I'm just filling it up more with the tequila. It's getting stronger as it's getting lower. But really it's not getting lower because you keep filling that hoe up. That's just what I do. You know, you can try it. I guarantee you be up. So maybe you don't want to try it. If you're not over 21, you know, don't drink it. Wow. Now I'm about to go wash my hair. I'm actually about to show y'all my hair, bro. Ah! <laughs> y'all. Wait, that makes me look like a whole different person. Like. No way. Yeah, y'all, my hair is short as well, it's short as shit. And I'm trying to go on this little hair hair journey, but obviously, I don't know if stuff is working out. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, this is how I'm about to end this little scene because once I started doing that, just flakes started falling out. So I'm about to go wash <laughs> my hair because it has a lot of, ooh, dang. It got a lot of product in it. Like, I've been gelling it, gelling it, putting aqua gorilla snot on it to keep the joint up. I had to do a lot of stuff. Put edge boots on it, gorilla snot on it, eco styler on it, water on it. I had to do a lot of things. <sighs> so y'all, I look absolutely crazy right now. My my face even look crazy, like I'm breaking out. Oh my gosh, I'm, I put my hair inside some cornrows, some janky cornrows. This shit took for life an hour long for me to do. I'm about to put some oil in my hair and then finally put my wig cap on. No, y'all, I'm sleepy. I'm not even gonna hold you, but I need to finish this stuff before tomorrow, but I don't have, I can't do this stuff tomorrow, so I need to do it tonight. As of right now, I did come to y'all looking crazier than I was before. We only, st I'm bringing a whole suitcase. And so right here, as you can tell, it's the bottom. So we're gonna put that on the right side. One side has a zip up where I can put all of this stuff in and then the other side just has like the string. So the string part, I'm gonna put my clothes in. The zip up part, I'm putting my makeup, the bottle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I'll be keeping my jewelry in here so I can have some earrings. So I'm bringing this pink purse. And my heels are going on this side. They already kind of in here. I'm bringing these pink heels as well. Um, Converse. They look absolutely crazy. But I'm probably wearing these 
tomorrow, I think. So I'm keeping them out. This purse, I don't really know why, but I think I'm gonna bring it. And I think I'm bringing this purse too. I don't really know why, but I think I'm bringing it. Is this pink outfit that I wore in the Bahamas? I showed y'all this. I know I look crazy, and y'all probably keep looking at my face like this bitch just keep talking and she look the fuck terrible. But y'all know this stage, like y'all know this stage. Hopefully it comes out great. I'm just scared that I'm scared that it might not come out good. But you know we're gonna trust the process and just think positively. So I'm. Packing that pink dress, I'm, a, I'm gonna wear the pink purse with it and the pink heels with it because I wore that before and the new heels with it. Hopefully, that that don't really go, but hopefully, you know, it looks better when it's on because <laughs> I haven't tried it over because this is just quick to throw one for. Club fits. I was really thinking about this and it's from my 21st birthday and I tried to put it on. This shit is tight. I really want to be able to. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that in that. That's why I look key don't want to wear it and then you're supposed to put the little corset with it. Y'all know the little thing that everybody used to wear for a fruit. Shoes could probably go with it. I'ma just pack it. Before you go somewhere, always check the weather. From that, do y'all see this? Can't even wear that no more, bro. How do you get oil out of clothing? Cause I just got oil on this. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but I just got oil on this. Cause I was putting oil in my hair. But, low key, every time I get oil in my clothes, it don't never come out. two o'clock in the morning my hair didn't even come out how i wanted it to i don't know i don't know what's going on i don't i don't care right now um as you can see i'm emotional as fuck but i guess i'm about to just i'm about to do my toes and maybe talk to y'all a little bit <sighs> I think when I get around my friends and stuff I'll be more or they'll you know cheer me up and I'll be having a better day I'm just irritated right now to be honest this is a jail um little UV light that's how I do my nails, gel. <clears throat> my voice sounds so weird right now. I got this gel uh, polish from Amazon. It's a Pretty Diva UV LED gel. And then I got a top coat gel too. Pretty Diva from Amazon. I have some rusty ass toenail clippers. I got two pairs of toenail clippers. And a fowler. So job. I felt mentally stuck when I came back from school and stuff like that. So, if she would have watched that video, then she would have known that. And if you're watching this video right now, then you should have known that. Yeah, I had already told y'all I felt mentally stuck after uh, coming back to school. I mean, com after coming from school. And basically, I was going to just dedicate... Well, when I graduated, I said I was just going to dedicate myself to YouTube. And like stuff that like actually makes me happy for real even though even though I had uh, a decent offer from a company that I did an internship with and yeah even though I had that offer I was just like 
I don't know. I just kind of stopped emailing them back. I told them that I needed time after I graduated, but I didn't expect myself to need like this much time for real. I want y'all to see my nose because they so they're weird. Like they so like small and chunky. <laughs> but they cute to me, so but I still don't want y'all to see it. Some people weird. What I wanted to do, which was YouTube and stuff like that when I got out of school and you know figure out what type of videos i like to do and everything just make a plan for myself and post a certain amount of times during the week and everything obviously when i came back home that ship kind of sailed for it was like i wanted to do it but i wasn't doing it like i don't know i don't know what was going on in like my head it was like i really wanted to do it but Somehow I I couldn't. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do after I graduated, content-wise, and I didn't I didn't know what I liked for real. I just knew that I liked making videos. I realized that when I was doing like vlogs and stuff, that's what I liked. Like even to this day, I always go back and watch my vlogs. I I go back and watch my Miami vlogs. I go back and watch Aggie Fest vlogs, Las Vegas. And I realize like I wanna do I wanna vlog. I wanna just show my life, do like weekly vlogs, a day in my life, all that type of <sighs> That shit's getting dead out. Hell out of me. But my, my door be doing that sometimes. Yeah, but then I realized also like when I when I while I've been here like I didn't really hang out with people and stuff like that like I've been like in my room it was nothing for me to do I didn't really have no friends I don't know how to make friends like I'm not really a social person I'm like a introvert for real for real but like unless you see me drunk then I'm an introvert for real for real like when I'm drunk then I could like talk to people and not feel awkward about it and all that other type stuff and not really be scared to walk up to people and say some crazy stuff i done said some crazy stuff man <laughs> to people while i was drunk but that's besides the point yeah i just feel like i don't know i always wanted to be that person that could just be you know so outgoing and like be able to network and talk to people just randomly for a for real but like and when i was talking to my mom Cause she's that person and I was telling her like, I want to be more like her for real, for real. Like she's really a hard working, outgoing individual that I could look up to literally every, every day. If I don't have nobody else to look up to, I could look up to my mom. When I graduated, I was so, I was so dumb with school. I don't even, it still don't even feel like I graduated for real, for real, for some reason. Like it don't feel like, oh yeah, this bitch was just in school for four years and at freaking North Carolina A&T in freaking greensboro north carolina and actually got her bachelor's degree like it don't feel like that nor do it feel like i'm freaking 22 years old like i be feeling like i'm getting old bro but i know i'm young i know i'm young i know i'm young but i feel like i'm getting old i i, I don't know i don't know what the fuck was going on in my head but i'm glad that what whatever feeling i had is mostly gone for the most part, I feel way better. And yeah, I don't know. I just wish the best for me. I hope that I can actually come out of my shell. And you know how I can be open with y'all and actually talk to y'all. Like, I want to be able to do that with other people. Like, start conversations with other people. Like, I can start a conversation with y'all. Y'all not even talk about me. Comment down below if you want to know more about, like, where my mind was during the time that I, after I had graduated. I talked a lot in this video, but... It just made it really lengthy, so I cut a lot of it out. Hey, can you move your car behind Logan? The lady was like, your car was like right in the middle. She she had another car. She went to park. She could you move it backwards? Or... I got to do that right now. Yeah. Y'all, I don't know what all this stuff was that was flying in my video. I think it was from me filing my nails, but I also think it was like dust from my curtains that's right beside me. I don't know what was going on, but yeah, that's going to be in this part of the video. This lady left two notes on my car door. Like, two notes, not on my car door, on my window shield. I bought it up. It say the same thing. It 
it said, can you be more courteous of those who live here and park so that someone else can park in front or behind you? Thank you. Then that's going to say, can you have some consideration for other people having to park over here? You took up two parking spaces. First of all, don't leave no notes on my motherfucking car. The reason I had parked over there was because somebody else had took my parking spot yesterday and I just haven't left the house yet, yet, which I have to leave the house in 20 minutes like I already told y'all. Less than 20 minutes now because I had to move my freaking car. I didn't realize. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that, but I did not realize that I parked like smack dab in the middle like nobody could park in front or behind me. But even then, whenever I I come home, there's no cars over there. I think she was just being dramatic. And I was literally only, I was, I haven't been even been parked there for 24 hours, so. I don't know what man you had over last night that wanted to park on the street when he could have just parked in your driveway and started leaving two freaking notes on my car. A note when she said thank you at the end, you gave me all this attitude in the beginning and then gonna say thank you to make it seem nice. Courtesy for the people who live here, like, I live here too. I'm confused. You act like I'm just a stranger. <laughs> like, I'm just visiting. No, I live here. And it's probably because I'm rushing so bad. This prepare with me just went terribly. My toes look tough laughable but when you have white toes and you take a picture from a distance as long as you're not close up on them motherfuckers they white i was like my shit is not focusing okay y'all these are my nails right now it's the other hand yeah it look a little crazy but it's fine it'll get the job done cute little frenchies Unfortunately, y'all not even gonna see me like done up, done up all the way, but I did my hair, my nails, and my toes, and I ran around the world the other day for finding some clothes, so that was my preparing me. I'm leaving today. I'm actually leaving right now. I'm about to, and y'all pack with me a little bit. I'm about to close my suitcase and head on out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to watch my Valentine's Day vlog. That's coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be lit. And I know we're going to be lit. And despite all the bullshit that's happened, I'm going to have a great time. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Dawn TV looks crusty, but I'm out.